what it's up guys, video game Jane Poop with another Mega Man type playthrough. This time we're doing my favourite Mega Man Zero series, so the first Mega Man Zero today. So, here we go. And I'm playing this on the uh, Legacy Collection, the Zero slash ZX Legacy Collection. And I'm doing this in um, a casual scenario mode, which is uh, in this in these games they call Ultimate Mode as well. Uh, which is an unlockable mode. It's basically the easiest mode in the game. Because I want to show you guys how fast I can beat some of these games. And, uh... And I'm gonna... I'm gonna use the wallpaper too. Uh, uh, so... Yeah, I'm gonna use those instead. Because I don't know if these wallpapers are commonly used, so... And I've not really used them that much as well, so... And I really love the Mega Man Zero series. I was addicted to them when I first played them on the DS collection uh, that I've got, uh, the Japanese version, and uh, and I got them on GBA as well. Except I ha all of them are fake copies, I think. So it well, it doesn't matter anyway. As long as I have them, then I can still play them. And I've got this collection, and I've got the ZX games as well, ZX and ZX Advent. Uh, but. We're gonna start a new game. But yeah. <sighs> okay, so we have soldiers running, shooting away from these guys. And the music in this collection is based on the remastered version from the DS collection as well, so that's good news. What, what kind of monsters are these? Uh, they're golems, I think. They're all dead. Puff, puff, a dead end! Now, I feel a strong energy inside. This must be the place. Okay, leave this to me. Stay back, CL. That's her name. You should go. I'll take care of them. This must be. My dude, Zero. But st still, don't say I'm gay. I'm not. This must be Zero. We found him at last. Oh, he's painful. What? It's protected. What should I do? Whoa, no! He's dead. Watch out! We are cornered. We have to evacuate now. But, but. We have no time to argue. Mylon! It's a weird name. Sam. Sam. Huh? You should use my power. I have no choice. What, Passy? If I do, you'll be... Don't worry about me! Remember, everyone is training for your safe return! Okay, thank you. No! I said thank you, GL! Goodbye! Passy! That is a weird name for, like, a... <laughs> a character. My dude! And this is apparently after the events of X6. Zero has been resurrected! Huh? Zero, help me please! But before we do that, I'm gonna change the controls. Uh, because that is what I would recommend doing if you're on the Legacy Collection. Again, I'm on Xbox One, so... You can see the, the buttons don't look right, so B is jump for some reason. This is how I like it. The main weapon for X button, and then the jump button, the A button, and then the dash button the same, and then the sub weapon, it don't really matter. And then down here at the attack mode, you can hold, so using your sub weapon, so say the, the saber and the gun, you can hold it to use the saber or the gun, depending on which way you choose, or you can just press the button, or you can switch it to, uh, by pressing a button and you can switch weapons. I prefer the first one for this collection. 
And here we have all the cyber elves in the game. Even the rarest one. So we have nurse elves, animal elves, hacker elves, and the rare one. The rare one's called Jackson. Does, does that mean his first name is Michael? <laughs> okay. Alright, um. Yeah, he's hee hee. Uh, and then. We got. Yeah, because we're on, like, the easiest mode ever, you get almost everything in the game. It's like New Game Plus. Um. You also have code names depending on what levels you be uh, for the game. So, so for you have little sub tanks, uh, and th that's about it. So let's get going. Yeah, you can just. Um, so this is what the game is like for now, at least. And we just shoot these enemies out of our way. Get out of my way! My dude Zero's coming through. Okay, and it and it kind of takes place uh, more years after the events of Mega Man X, but not that much. And up here is nothing. But I think I want to do better than that right here. Thankfully, we have save assist, so we can just literally speed through this. Ugh, the spiders. Speed through these. Yeah, and I can just damage boost through them as well. Uh, you get a rank depending on uh, how well you do a stage. You can even get an S rank as well. What? It's a dead end! What should we do? <laughs> oh, nice of you, Zero. You. Yeah, thank you. This place seems to be prehistoric laboratory. We may. We may be able to find a trans server, uh, which we can use to go back to the resistance base. I wonder why it's called that. How nice! This passageway has been collapsing. Shall we go? Stay back! <laughs> oh no! She's been got. Zero! No! Run! You can't damage this thing with a buster. Or can I? We've got a warning. Yes, you can sort, but it doesn't take a lot of damage. So I guess we gotta keep shooting it then. And then... And thanks to uh, ultimate mode, or casual scenario mode in the collection, you slide slower as well. Instead of sliding very fast. By default. Alright, there we go. RATS! Huh? Who's that? <gasps> the sword! Use this, Zero! Who are you? Hurry! You must save her! Don't waste time! And yes, you can use the saber as well. And I was using the holding method, but I'm gonna switch so and use just the button method. In a moment. Mission completed! I can't believe you were able to destroy a golem! We were right! Are you Zero, the legendary Reploid? Zero? Is that my name? Of course it is! Oh, I can't remember. Well, because you were trapped in a capsule from X6 all the way to this year in your own year. So that's why. Just relax for a moment. You have you have hibernated sickness. I'm so sorry for, for forcing you to wake up. And thank you for saving me. My name is CL. I'm a scientist and I'm a human. Let's go to our base before more enemies arrive. What if I'm not the Zero you were talking about? I think you are. You proved to be- you proved to me that you are Zero by saving me from the golem. Yeah, you- you kinda- you actually are Zero, Zero, so... Right, I'm gonna use the Saber as the main weapon. And you notice the stars next to them? That means the level up, so... <laughs> and I've done this in 50 seconds, wow. <laughs> Thank god the timer does not affect cutscenes, um, and it only affects um, uh, the actual game when you play. Um, so yeah, the stars represent the levels, so, uh, the, so the more enemies you kill, depending on what version, of, what type of attack you use, the, the more skills you can learn, uh, such as the rolling, jumping, and then um, the, the better slashes and everything like that. So, things like that. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, yeah. We are in luck! The transfer is still active! Uh, yeah, this is just um, how you can use it. You can return to base or download elf. You don't really need to do those now. Level D. I'm a collector. Well, I am a video game collector, so... <laughs> 50 seconds, wow. 2p for... Yeah, this is just the results screen. And you get a level, so I got a level D. Welcome to our resistance base, Zero! This is the shelter for injured Reploids who are suspected of being Mavericks. We have fought to hard, so hard to survive. However, we know that the end is coming. But that's why we have been looking for you. You are our last hope. Most of us think that Zero is nothing but a fantasy. However, a few still believe that in your existence and have been looked for you. You are Zero, the legendary Ripley that fought with X to save the world a hundred years ago. It's like a century. X. That name sounds familiar. X, that legendary Reploid, is still alive, and he's trying to retire all of us. X is trying to retire you? His plans have already begun. Many innocent Reploids are be being retired as we speak. We need your help. Our future depends on you. Please help. Nah. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you! It's like a dream come true! Now, with your help, I think I can save any everyone any, everyone! I have, have I have something I need to ask you. Please talk to me when you are ready. Uh sure. Sure, gal. Alright, um so yeah. You got missions in this game and not like uh, Maverick Selects or Robot Master Select. Although you do get that in the later Zero game, starting with Zero Two. Um, so, so we could explore around the base, but I'm not going to. We're gonna. Are you ready? Now listen. What I want to ask you is if you would try and do something that no one has been able to do so far. I want you to destroy the disposal center where they retire our comrades one after another. Even while I speak. They may be retiring a Reploid who is wrongly suspected of being a Maverick. To prevent any additional loss of a Reploid life, please destroy the enemy facility. Will you accept- YES! Save before- Yeah, you can save the game as well. And in this collection, you've also got, um... Uh, save slots as well. Uh, in this version, you've got six more. Well, two more. Uh, three more, I mean. So meaning six save slots. I'm gonna to save to the first one. Data saved! The disposal center is up ahead of you. Please rescue our comrade. Okay then. So oh a timer goes up while we're like saving the game as well. That's weird. Oh well it don't matter. Um but what does matter is that we can actually play the game now! Hooray! And I'm really, like, sort of skilled. I'm not, like, Magnus Zero uh, skill, but I can still, like, do, like, almost quite a few skills in this game. Uh, like, I can beat some stages quick. I can even beat this game in, like, almost 30 minutes in Ultimate mode. Uh, but in other modes, uh, not really. Right, if the rain is going that way, that's good because we go faster and we move on the screen. Wee! Get out of the way! Through the shutter, you'll be reached to the disposal center! Alright, CL. Alright, here we go. Who's this boss? Oh god, who's he? I'm Aztec Falcon. Harpuya, the Guardian, sent me to clean up. Well, not really. Hey! Help! Help me! You must be some of the garbage. <laughs> Just in time, I'll dispose of both of you together. And so with this fight, you've got to... you got to 
fight him very quickly before this the platform raises down. And thankfully, with a charge shot, you can kill him very quickly. And boom, we got him. <laughs> He's in the door. Wow. Oh my god. And we get that. Huh? Um, um, thank you. I have never expected someone you come to rescue me. Thank you so much. I'm still in shock. <laughs> I'll return to our base. When, when, uh, when I'm able to walk again, you can go back now. I'll be fine. And those robots are still shaking. And what do we get here? Thank you, blah, 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 blah. Corp Agent Zero. That is the Thunder Chip. I presume you must get it before you return to the base. Yeah, so it's like, it's the Thunder Chip. Now, what this does is it adds an electric um, effect on your saber and all your other weapons that you can get. Because there are, like, two more weapons you can get in the game. And I'll try and get them in this playthrough. Like, you don't have to get them, but... But it is like, but I thought they might be used, but they are useful though. You don't actually need them to beat the game though. Um, it's not like the other games where you're actually required to get them to beat the game because you get them before you do the rest of the levels. You do the intro stage and then you get the other weapons. In this game, it's not like that. You have to um, go to a specific place and then, and then you can get them, but you don't actually have to do that. You can do it if you want, but you don't really need to, so... It's up to you, I guess. You can get it if get it if you want or not. So it's your choice. Um, so we just gotta. So, but I'm gonna get them anyway because I would prefer. We're level C collector now. Zero, thank you. I never thought I'd be able to see the day when the Reploids were destroyed. The Spotter Center was destroyed. Innocent Reploids will be safe for a while. Thank you so much, Zero. You are Zero, the legendary Reploid. I know that already. I'd like to ask you for help again when you when have the time. Uh, that is, if you don't mind doing us favors, please come and talk to me. I'll be waiting for you. By the way, if you, if, if you go to the engine room downstairs, you'll find our engineer named... Survey. He asked me to give you this. It's called the escape unit. If you use it during a mission, you'll be able to escape to a, you're able to abort the mission and evacuate. But remember, the mission will be considered to be a failure if you evacuate it. Okay then. So we got the escape unit, and let's go close to her. Let's not care about social distancing. And yeah, you can save as well. You can choose to save again, and you can also load and delete a save data. So. So yeah, you can load and then it'll load. So we got a few... Oh, come on, hold on. I'm gonna load the save data again so I don't have to, um... So I don't have to, um, worry about the time. So we got destroy train, find shuffle and retreat data for now. There are more missions you can get. It doesn't matter what order you do them in, but I prefer to do them in the order. Like, so this one, this one, and this one. I prefer to do it like that. Uh, most of the time. Right, so let's load. Let's load. Destroy train. We want to destroy the enemy transport train in order to disrupt their supply. Based on the report from our scout unit, this enemy train is at the old platform loading cargo. Time to attack is now. Please help us destroy that train. Will you accept? Yes. The transport train is lying deep within an underground passage. Keep your guard up. All right, let's go down. And with this amazing music, yeah, the game's music is amazing as well. Yeah, just keep going. These enemies. Oh, and yeah, in this game, if you're not on ultimate mode, you would also have to collect cyber elves in the game as well. Like, not required, so like, you can get one up here, for example. Uh, but of course I'm on ultimate mode or casual, not casual scenario mode. I don't really need to get them, so... Oh, and because we got the, um... We can stun some enemies. Uh, luckily. Alright. Alright. Being held within the transport train is a cyber elf that was stolen from our base. If it, if it is taken to their base, they will abuse its power. Rescue it, please! Alright. The train seems to be half left. Please rescue the the abducted cyber elf. I'm counting on you, Zero. Alright. 
And yes, we have like two minutes to do this. Or is it? No, three minutes. Uh, okay, um. Uh, Alright, so. Yeah, we're just gonna go here fast. It's literally easy. You can just go to the boss room straight away. We have this thing. You've reached. You've reached the engine chamber! Be careful, Zero! Alright. And you just gotta hurt him. And he'll spit out fire a lot. Yeah, just gotta keep uh, hurting it. Right then. Oh, I got it! Oh boy! We got it! Boy! But of course, we the cyber elf doesn't is not here, so it's not destroyed. Thank you, Zero. The mission was a success because of you. I really appreciate your help. And of course, we don't get it. <laughs> we just jumped. Oh, we're level B now. In fact, I'm not gonna read the rest of the text. I'm just gonna carry on. Uh, I, th I think you would expect what the missions are like, so. So we're just gonna carry on with the game. The aircraft that the Riploids are on has crash landed somewhere in the desert. Uh, I think we might know that already. Hurry and help them out! All right. Just gonna... Ugh. Yeah, there's nothing up there. There is a cyber elf usually up there. Uh, and keep in mind, the later missions, you do have to revisit some of these areas, so we'll have to come back to this desert later. Like that. Alright, here. Oh, yeah. My name is Anubis. Uh, yeah, so this is Anubis. Alright. And I realised you cannot use electric on him. He's, like, weak to it, so we got to turn electric off. There we go. Alright, we're just going to hurt his feelings like that. And then he'll have these thrown at you. Just like that. And then we're just gonna hurt his feelings again. Alright, there we go. We're just gonna hurt him again. Alright, uh, there we go. Oh, boy! Come on! Oh, boy! <sighs> okay. Got him! Right there. Whoa! I'm doing this with no damage so far. Wow. Oh my god, no hits whatsoever. Did not take any damage there. Right, I'm gonna enable electric again. Because we'll need it later. Right. Are you alright? Uh, uh, thank you very much. Can you walk? Yes. Alright, we have to save this guy. Now, this is very annoying. Because you have to... You have to w just walk. You cannot, like, run away from him. Otherwise, he'll duck down like this. And you have to go back to him. And he'll say, Thank you! <laughs> and then you also have to kill some enemies on the way as well. Which is very annoying. And if he gets hit a lot, he will die. And he will fail the mission. So, you really gotta be careful. In fact, what you can also do is, um... Whoa! You can also stun some enemies instead of killing them. So then you get, so then he'll go past them without killing them. Yeah, even projectiles can hurt him as well. So you really gotta be careful. Birds, I wanna eat! Oh, so close! Oh, and the next fly off. <laughs> That's weird. Oh, no! Okay. Right, I'm gonna stun this one. See, you'll go through it and it won't get hit whatsoever. Right. Right, there we go. Woo! So close! Oh no! Alright, there we go. No, don't you touch him. If you touch him, he will die. Alright. Whoa! Okay, stupid bird. Uh, oh boy. Stupid guy. Go away, bird. Eat for dinner. Ugh. 
I'm saying it like that. <laughs> oh god. No! Okay, I think we're done actually. Yes, we are. Oh, thank god, thank goodness I'm safe. Oh man. These two women help him. He's now up him. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we could save him. Thank you, Zero. We're still a level B collector. Oh man. Seven minutes in gameplay, but it's been 20 minutes recording. It's weird. All right, we'll do the retrieve data mission and recognize this place. Careful, Zero, of course, yeah. Well, that's because it's the intro stage. But this time you have like more enemies here. And I think, I don't know if the cyber elves you missed, you cannot get again. Like there is one in the first part of the game uh, where you act where you exactly start uh like behind you there is like a capsule containing one um and you cannot get it uh if um, if you're doing this again uh, you have to play the game again to get it if you missed it there's a massive energy ahead well you we've been here before cl so don't you know this place we've got a massive boy my name is my got a riff sheriff i don't know why their names sound Japanese. But this is a massive elephant. A fat one to begin with. Right, right. And it just rolls up like a ball, and then you just gotta keep her in that. Yeah, it's completely broken. And you can also slice the bosses in half as well, which is really weird. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. This is where we were. See glitches on the top of the screen! <laughs> and we gotta really escape. Yeah, we gotta do Metroid here. <laughs> Literally. Well, except uh, it's not sort of like Metroid because you gotta escape. But it's not because. But it's not really like it because uh, if you don't stay where you are, you literally die instantly. So you gotta. Whoa! I forgot about that! All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We did it! Oh my god! Mission passed. Wait, no, no, mission completed. This is not GTA, come on. All right, um. All right, return to the base. Return to the base. All right. Oh, thank you so much, Zero. All right, we'll occupy factory next. Now this stage, um, has these things. Now you can go up if you want, there is a secret up there, but I'm gonna do the legit half. Uh, for the sake. You get this cutscene. Sometimes I have icons say in sound only as well. But you can't hear them though. Alright, so, and you have these spotlights that you have to avoid, right here. Right, come on, come on. Whoa! <laughs> right, and if, and, and, and if you get touched by one of these, well, not touched, but if you get caught, then you have to you have to go here fast before that crushes you. Or if you're behind it, you'll fail the mission, regardless. Right. And then we have to ride these platforms. This is very annoying as well. You've got to ride these platforms all the way. Up there. Right there. Whoa! So close. You gotta be careful for those electric thingies as well. Those tasers, I think they are. I don't know. Whoa! Take that spider. Alright. Whoa! I'm trying to climb up. There we go. Uh, let's not get that capsule. Uh, yeah, those capsules are the same assist, so it doesn't really matter. Um, go through these. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! So close. I should have got that capsule actually. Don't matter though, we've got it anyway. I'm picking up on the energy! Okay. Now this boss. So the yellow ones here, they just bite you or, 
or headbutt you, I think. I don't know. And you can also destroy them as well. The red ones are electric, though. Well, no, no, not electric, but they are weak to electric, but they spit out fire. The green ones are, like, the electric ball ones. And then you can take a guess what the blue ones are. Oh my god, four fingers! The blue ones are ice. Yes, they're ice, ice, baby! Alright, there we go. And yeah, another finger will be added. Oh my god, he's doing the P sign! <laughs> Below us! <laughs> okay, we got fire. We got the fire chip. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> okay, um... Oh! Now, now for these missions. So, you'll get missions uh, during uh, some parts of the game. And you're required to do them. So, and you cannot choose another mission until you've done that one. In fact, I, then I'll need to go to that other place where you can get other weapons after that because you really you could I could have gone there after the retrieve data because after that then you can get the other weapons or well, you have to like def do, do another mission before getting another one so let's do this one first we're gonna save the game first and then yeah it's a gi giant mechanoloid I think it is All right I'm gonna keep my electric in fact no um no, I'll turn it off because the next stage the boss is weak to the ice, but we don't have that yet, so I'm gonna use normal. It's the mechanoloid. And now this thing uh, takes damage everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is like just do that. So then literally with damage in almost every part that we possibly can. So we beat this very quickly. We just gotta do the back bum part. We gotta do the bum bum. Alright, come on, kill him. Yes! Very quickly! However, if you wanna get a few cyber elves, you have to wait until it, like, goes through, like, uh, destroys uh, a bit of, like, the other areas and that. <laughs> Whoa! We can do that. We're still at level B. That is how you get those cyber elves. You have to make sure it, like, destroys some parts of the area. Got to rescue someone. So. Hit my button mashing as well. Okay. There is a secret you can go through here, but it's just to get the cyber elf. It's not actually required uh, to beat the game. But you do need all the cyber elves as, as well as the rare one to unlock ultimate mode uh, for the normal for for the actual normal game, uh, GBA game, as well as the DS collection. If you're playing through that or uh and um and normal mode non-casual scenario mode uh in the zero and zx legacy collection whoa okay all right and then we just go through here dead people in an e-rated game run now zero thank goodness and then we have this guy yeah we meet harpooia harpooia or Harpoonia? Uh, I forgot how you say it. Alright. Uh, he is the green of one of the uh, guys. He's like the um, uh, the X Hunters in X2 and then the similar ones in X3. Uh, but for the Mega Man Zero series. And they're in like all three games, but they're not in the fourth game. Uh, and then you can get like similar outfits resembling them. CX and CX something. Incredible! Um, he's well, he's not dead. Uh, they're basically um, they're basically uh, their leader is the uh, like an evil version of X in this game. Uh, so we're just gonna continue. Find the what? This one. Uh, the boss for this one is weak to the fire, but we're gonna use the normal one first and then switch to the fire after, like before we go to it. So, we have these, uh, camels, and then here, destroy that, and wee! We're dead. Oh, no, we're not. We're under the sand. 
and then we're in like these icy areas. Those, um, well, not the well, first. You bring these down to re to make platforms. Uh, these things I'm standing on, they're actually the spikes originally, but because one of the cyber elves actually um, removes the spikes, so you can so it, the game is easier. So. But in other games, you still have spikes, but you just you just take damage instead of dying instantly. Uh, so, in the other games, if you're in casual scenario mode anyway, you just destroy these and then you save people. Let's go. Oh boy. Is it a girl? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably for zero, I don't know. I don't know which woman he would take. And then we have a man. Now for this one, I would. Oh, I forgot to get that other weapon. The other weapons. It don't. Uh, we have these guards, which if they, if you're caught, uh, it'll temporarily close these, and you will have to wait for a while before opening them again. So these things here. Yeah, just like that. If if you're caught, then uh, you have to wait for a while. All right, just gonna. Yeah, I could also roll like that. For one of our weapons. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it's very cool. Alright. Yeah, thank god we can just use, like, the gun for those ones, so then you can just, um, pretty much, uh, avoid them instantly. Alright. Yeah, that one's an enemy. Oh, I'm surprised I'm not caught. Oh, now I am. Oh, no. I'm just gonna roll right here. Wee! Wee! Come on, I want to roll. Whoa! Oh, it didn't work. Right, one more to go. Oh boy. Right, you're dead. Right, and then we're gonna switch to the fire because there's no more of these. Right. Uh, charge the charge the charge saver will not work with these, unfortunately. Oh, and because it's red, you can make it uh, red uh, when you're uh, on the screen. Yeah, there you go. Good luck, Zero. I'm going to try and make it red here. There we go. It's all red on the screen. Yeah, we have this guy. Uh, Blizzard Stagroff. His name. And he goes, ooh. <laughs> Sounds like me on the toilet. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not go into too much information there. But... All right. Boom. Oh, come on. No, 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 please. I want to hurt him. Oh, no. Yeah, you can be slowed down as well. Oh, no! Right. Boy, all right, there we go. Yeah, this. The... All right. Come on, there we go. Let's slash him in off. And a bit of blood on him? Okay. And there's the ice. That is what you would expect from him. Alright, uh, first I'm gonna, because the next one we're gonna face is weak to the electric, so we're gonna use that ice chip. I thought it was gonna say ice cream then. <laughs> Imagine a boss giving you ice cream. Alright, uh, actually now I'll go and get that weapon, so what, what you're gonna go is here. Yeah, that way, this way is another transporter where I shot, and then that is uh, somewhere else. Uh, right here is thin, and you can get a weapon from him. So we got the triple rod, and what that is, is this, it's this, oh and this guy, you can pay E crystals, these are another, another thing you can get, but you, uh, that is just to get a cyber elf in the game, you don't actually need to go that way, oh. yeah the other weapon you have to get after beating a mission, so, and we just missed it, so, but at least we have the rod now, boom boom! Alright. Alright. Duel in the desert. So that's another one. Th oh my god, a lot of soldiers! It's World War Three. <laughs> uh, this one's interesting because you can't go back. It's so it's like Super Mario Bros. here, but reversed. Uh, well, the original Super Mario Bros. and uh, Japanese Mario Bros. 2 plus levels. Uh, and I guess Super Mario Land as well, because that one also doesn't allow you to go back in the stage. I don't know what other games do that. Uh, up here. But can I actually. <gasps> oh, no, I can't. But if you would, then you'll get an extra life up there. That's what we see is. Alright. Alright. 
they have these helicopters, it just has these animals. Right, we're just gonna avoid them now. Right, watch out! Stay alert, Zero! We've got a helicopter right here. And we have this guy, Fethnir. In fact, these also have first names. The, the names I was saying are actually their last name. So the first one was Sage Harpunia. Harpunia, I think. And then this one is Fighting Fifth. Yeah. Alright. Alright, here we go. Got him. Oh, we just turned around. We're still a B collector. Are we going to ever get an A or S rank? Right, let's go and get that other weapon first. And we'll see what that really is. In fact, um, we'll switch to fire. Like, the next boss is not weak to any weapon, but I prefer to use fires anyway, so I'm going to use that. Right. Yeah, we got the shield boomerang, so what that is... Right, I'm going to... And use that on the sub weapon. What that is, and then you, and then you can let go of it. It's a boomerang, and then you can use it like that if you want. I don't know, right? Uh, but we're not really going to use it that much. Uh, right. Let's go to protect factory. Uh, this next one we would fight is a ninja. Right, so. We go. We have Phantom. I forgot his actual first name, but I know it's Phantom. It's not like Ninja Phantom or anything, because we know he's a ninja. Is it like Shinobi Phantom or something? I don't know. Shinobu Phantom? I don't know. I don't really know. I forgot. But well, I'll just call him Phantom. Um, and I used to struggle this with this fight as a kid. When I first played this game, um, uh, because he's very hard. Right. Oh, I got him! All right, there we go. And then you have a timer, and then we gotta collect the bombs. And we have these dogs who are so annoying. Right. Uh, this time, I'm gonna access the secret. So we're in the same factory as before. Uh, get up there, Zero. There we go. Oh, come on! There we go! Destroy that. And destroy that. Come on. Gonna... Come on. There we go. We have these fans you can destroy. We have an extra life up here, which we don't really need. But... Right. And that green thing, that flashing red thing up there, and on that green thing, hurts it, and then you collect it. That is, that's there, the bombs, for this stage. Alright. Whoa, okay! Alright, some of these are, like, quite hidden, so I'll give you a guide. So, we got the first three already, you already saw them. First one is easy, because you will see it right away. Uh, so then, it's up here, this next one. And then the next one is on this side, right here. But some will never earn. And then the next one is up there. You might be thinking, how do you get that? It looks impossible. Well, you go here. And then you go down here, and you've got to be careful getting down. I think it's a bit difficult, depending on what version you play. Like, not region, but like, different console. Or if, it, if it's your eyesight, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, the next one is very hidden. It's up here. And then one more. The last one is easy to find. It's just before the boss of this area is. So. Well, the, uh, not Phantom, but the other boss. And then we got them all. So, yeah, they're quite hidden, some of them. Oh, boy. And there's no more weapons to collect, so we can just continue. Stop the hacking. Uh, I don't want to stop hacking, because I still hack my consoles and everything, so... So we're back in the desert. 
with weird, creepy music. Alright, we'll go down here. Right. And then, if, if you go to the left, you can find another Cyber Elf. But, of course, we don't need to get it. Right. And this is this one's unique as well, because there's no more ice in the first area where we were. But this time, there's water! And it's pretty much the only water in this game, in, in, in Zero One. Uh, so, whoa! And you can get crushed from that. Notice there's a boat above us as well. I'm gonna hide here next. You can get crushed here. Then we go up here. Whoa. Alright, and then... And then you go up, you can either go up here to like get another cyber elf and then go on the other boat that way. Or the more ridiculous way is to wait here and then jump like that. I, I, I actually never knew that until I saw like a, 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 a let's play of this game. Uh, so I did not know this until that. Because I always did the other way when I first played this. Right, and then we go up here. Alright, and this time, we don't go to the uh, areas we save, unless you collect the cyber elf, then yes. There's also a cyber elf hidden up there as well, but we need to go here, to then destroy these. And there's nothing in the first ones, but there are cyber elves usually in the original. Then the other two have... Um, extra lives, and then these ones have uh, uh, S-Crystals or Sub-Crystals. Uh, they're used to upgrade your Cyber Elves in this game, as well as going through that guy I showed earlier. Then here, we have another Guardian. Yeah, that's it, they're Guardians. We have Fairy Leviathan. Doesn't look like a fairy at all. And of course, it's a woman, so <laughs> yeah. And anyway, apparently, we gotta fight her. When Zero should not be messing with Will. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. Alright. Alright. Done all the missions, so what now? Oh, another one of those missions! Wishes? What? Oh my god, they're escaping! Somewhere. Yeah, this one... Got lots of text. The X is what? Should go. Alright, I'm gonna start saving. First slot again. Alright. Oh my god, there's a woman there. Dying, I think. Can't mess with her, no. Oh my god, there's a dead person! Oh no! And it's an E-rated game! Oh boy. Yeah, th these games are very dark. And you gotta kill these... ...to save this guy, uh, who we got the weapons from. I think his name is Surveo. Don't really know how you pronounce his name. And then you need to go somewhere else in the base. You can use the elevator if you want, but I'm not going to. Because up here was blocks before. We go... To the energy right here. And we go here. <laughs> There's another dead person. And then we go. Well, first, I'm gonna use electric. We go right here. We have this guy. Uh, what's this? He is Hanu Machine. Hanu Machine. He's like a monkey. Yeah, you can tell because he makes monkey noises. <laughs> yeah, he's a monkey. All right, let's jump. Uh, it's not like a uh, fiery Diddy Kong, though. So. Whoa! <laughs> oh, God. And then he blows kisses to take the other monkeys out? Or is it like his own hand kind of move? I don't know. Oh, my God, he's about to pee on us. No, zero cover your face. All right. <laughs> All right. Whoa, we dashed. 
right. All right, and then this. Yeah, pretty much the only way you can go to the last area, which is Neo Arcadia, is through the trans server. I have cracked the security system of the trans server. I'm sorry that I took so long, but now you can enter Neo Arcadia whenever you want. You, you're the one who gave me the saber to me. Now go, terminate that copy of me. Terminate with extreme prejustice. Wait, who are you? It's not possible. Did he say that I can use now use the trans server? Yes, he did. If you didn't listen carefully, Zero. <laughs> I'm now go- I'm going now, take care. But first, do you want to save? <laughs> okay. Alright. Right. Good luck, Zero. Alright. Yeah, you two guys. No, no, not up there! Down here! You go down here. Oh, not up there. Alright. There are other trans servers you can activate in the game, but you don't actually have to. So the underground lavatory, that was the first area of the disposal center, and then Neo Arcadia Shrine, this is where we need to go for the next missions. And it has the, one of the best musics in the game. Ah, oh, stupid dog! Get out of my way! Stop making love to me, dog! Okay. No, stop it! Alright. Whoa. Oh wow, now nah, I took damage. I wanted to do a no hit run. Oh. Whoa, okay. And then we have these guys. And then we just gotta we just gotta keep hurting. We just gotta keep hitting, 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 hitting. hitting. And until they die. Whoa, okay. This one's dead. There we go. And then there is a cyber up, which is very hard to get. You have to, like, go here and then dash at the right time uh, to get there. But obviously, I don't need to do that. Right. Just gonna go right here. We have this weird guy right here. Don't know who he is, because uh, they don't talk, unfortunately. Whoa! Okay. You can apparently attack him while he's spinning as well. And he's weak to the electric. Take that! You take that again! Right. And then this one explodes. Oh! God! That was weird. Alright, so I'm gonna switch to ice, because the next boss we'll encounter is weak to the ice. So... And yeah, you can use that with the uh, rod as well. Can... Whoa, my God! And on this section, appearing and disappearing blocks again. More Mega Man Classic style here. In this amazing, no. Oh come on! I don't think you can wall jump from these as well. No, you cannot. So, whoa! Okay. Right here, and then over there, and then just go up right here. And then go through the door, and then boom, in the door. We have this guy. He's Herculeus Ancus. Herculeus Ancus. And he's like an ant. Kind of boy. Alright. Okay. Just gotta hurt his feelings a lot. And then, just... Yeah, you can apparently hurt him like that as well. But you don't really need to. Whoa! Okay. Whee! Boom, he's in the air. He's gonna explode with the moon. Oh my god, he'll be the first insect to go to the moon, probably. I don't even know. Alright. Whoa, we've done that animation thing again. Let's do that again. Yay, I, I like doing that. And you can go through the door to save the game if you want, or you can continue, but I'm going to continue. So, we're still level B, or rank B, should call it. And then you have to touch that to go right up for the rest of the stage. Uh, against Neo Arcadia. Well, in Neo Arcadia. 
Alright, so, yeah, Neo Arcadia is like the, this, the final area in Mega Man Zero games. Well, except for, because uh, Zero 4 has like a different place entirely. And of course the ZX games are not like the Zero games. They, they, they are similar, but they're not exactly like that. So, yeah. Alright, and then we can just go up and continue. Thank, thank God there's no more spikes, so you can literally just uh, avoid. You can eventually just skip everything here. Yeah, you can speed run this! Whoa! whoa oh god! Alright. <laughs> Okay. I'll just spot on my desk. Alright, do that thing again. Yay! Okay. And then we have this dude. Just get lost. We have the Rainbow Devil, and by devil, it is exactly like the Yellow Devil and then the Block Devil in, um, in X5. So... But this is the Rainbow Devil, and, you, and you'll fight him again in Zero Two in one stage as well, so... But he's a, he is a, a bit different in Zero Two. He doesn't look different, but he has like some different attacks, and some of his attacks have exploding in Zero Two as well. So that's cool. Right, next uh, I'm gonna use that next. Right, <gasps> CL, what are you doing here? CL, what made you come here? I, I I'm sorry, it's. It was who I recreated the duplication of X, that's why. You don't have to apologize, it's not your fault. You, you did it because you thought it would be good for everyone. Please just leave everything to me now. Zero, thank you. All right, now let's talk to her. Close. Just begin the mission? Yeah, New Arcadia Core. But you can also enter the door to do it as well. You don't actually have to talk to her, but still. You! <laughs> Alright. Alright, the last stage of the game. Alright, we go through these doors. Then we go through, like, each of the bosses. Oh, this one. Right, ice again, I guess. I thought we were going to fight the elephant one first, but no. I think in ultimate mode, you can also do a button combination to do some charged attacks instantly. So, like that there. I didn't charge, but I've done that. That's with a button combination. There we go, we killed him. <laughs> and then you also get life energy as well. Right, so we're gonna... Now we're gonna use electric here. There we go, massive elephant. Who does that move for no goddamn reason? Oh, nice! Oh my god, he's rolling. He's doing Blizzard Man from Mega Man 6. Don't copy him. Don't plagiarize moves. Right. There we go! Slashed him in off. Perfect thing to do in a Mega Man game, huh? We took no damage as well. Wow, that was amazing. All right, this one. This one's a Nubus, I think. Yeah, it is. It's like a lion. It's like a lion. All right. But combination. Oh no, it didn't work. No. All right. All right. Well, what does work is we'll jump in from these and then slashing him again. All right, there we go. <laughs> Why am I making like Scooby Doo noises? <laughs> oh god. My, th my throat hurts. <coughs> Made me want to cough. And we're one hour in the video. Alright, this next one will need fire as well. Because we have this guy! 
Ooh, he's me on the toilet again. <laughs> All right, that is TMI. <laughs> okay. I would not admit that is basically TMI. All right, can we? Oh my God! We can. We can avoid his attacks. No. Oh wow, that was amazing. <laughs> he's stabbing my head. No. All right. Whoa, we were backwards. Wow. All right, and there are two ways you can go through, but I'm going to go for the top route because it's quicker. But it also gives helpful things, such as extra life and extra health. So, yeah. I like how these doors look like zips. A bit. All right. Whoa, we're on the top. All right. Uh, next ones. Um, go with the bottom ones first because they're weak to fire. Well, one of them is. But it's Phantom first. All right. All right. Whoa, we got him. Oh, yeah, you'll do that as well. All right, well, we got him. All right, we got that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got him! Okay, I don't know what noise I'm making, but still. Alright, oh, there we go. And this time, impossible! How could I? I won't! I won't allow you to reach where the Master X is! I'll take it with me! Oh! No! Oh, I wanted to do the brother slash him in. And he's actually dead. Or is he? And this one's Leviathan. Uh, so we're gonna defeat her first, and then... Alright, because women get... Because women get beat up first. Okay, let's not be sexist, okay. Oh, 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 no! Come on, stop hurting me. Stop hurting me, alright. Okay, this time I wanna... Ew, ew! <laughs> ew, ew, ew! <laughs> Sounds like a dolphin. Alright. There we go, we got her. Got her! Puff, puff, puff. Oh boy. And we're standing on the uh, spikes. I think if there were spikes there, we could actually die. Uh, so, next, I think this one is Harpuia or Fefnir. I think this one's Fefnir. No, this one's Harpuia. Alright, so. Right, he's weak to ice, so we need to get the ice out. On. Oh, we got him! Yeah, we just keep doing that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wow, that was amazing! Right. Amazing! Alright. We're gonna use electric. I'm gonna use electric for the entire stage because I think the final boss is weak to any weapon. Alright, there's Fethnir. Whoa, okay. Alright, there we go. Got him. Yeah, sometimes if, if you're like in the air, if he grabs you in the air, he can also jump up and then grab you and drag you down. And sometimes he'll have white stuff around him. Oh yeah, he'll do that. That's his other move. There we go. Alright. These guardians will you'll have to fight them in zero two as well, except for Phantom. But in zero three, they're actually nice. And, in, they're, and they're not in zero four. Uh, whoa, okay, whoa, okay. Alright, we're gonna just go through here. Oh, no! Okay. Oh, no! Why am I doing Mickey Mouse? Okay. Alright, we got full health. Wow. Alright, we're gonna go through this boss. I wonder who it is. I won't allow you to proceed anymore. Give up. Stop. You are no match for him. Leave. Master X? But no. As you wish, my master. So this is X, apparently. 
Yeah, looking for this moment. You must be the pirate copy of X. Yeah, yeah so copy X. So it's not the real X, luckily. We're fighting an evil version of him. And he has his own upgrades. Oh my god, he's Angel X. <laughs> he looks like. Whoa, okay. Alright. Alright. On. Whoa! 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 And he shoots fire and then. No more weapons. Too weak! Was the original X this week? Uh, what? Okay. Well, I guess. He was to some enemies, but he, he, he is kind of strong if you if you play better. So, all right, this boss, the final boss, is Copy X, Angel X. Yeah, and if he says how much got, then you just uh, have to destroy. Destroy. You have to dodge his fire ability. Just gotta keep hurting him. And if he covers himself, that means he does that. And if he goes like... <laughs> then you just have to try and avoid these lasers. He tries to get. Wait, whoa! How much you got? Yeah, I used to struggle this fight as a kid. Because he's very hard. Because I didn't have the upgrades when I was fighting him. That's why it was hard. Boom! Right. Oh, thing! There we go! We got him! Why? I was supposed to be the perfect copy! How could this be possible? I was supposed to be a hero! I've just remembered something. He was not as naive as you are. That's what made him a hero. I won't forgive you. I'll take you with me! Final defense line has been destroyed. Self-destruction mode activated in Area X. All dangerous elements are to be eliminated. It's time to go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since you disappeared, I've been fighting this war alone against an uncountable of number of mavericks for nearly a hundred years, battle after battle. So painful and so sad, but the hardest part was when I discovered that I no longer cared about fighting enemies. Oh boy, you reference an X7, huh? I'll leave this world to you. Please allow me to rest in peace for a while. I'm sorry, Zero. But nope, he's awake! So to be, but that's why we are the best partners. You sure are. Except you look different in this game, for some reason. I'll do what you want. Rest for a while, I will handle it. You can count on me, I won't stop. When an enemy appears, I'll terminate it. Like this! Is that another, is that like an enemy or X? I hope it's not X, because <laughs> they look similar. <laughs> and that is, that is Mega Man Zero One. really keen on Zero One that much. Uh, I am very good at it, but I prefer the other games better. It's kind of like the Mega Man X games. I'm not, like, I don't really, like, I'm not saying I hate the Super Nintendo games. I, I do enjoy them, but I kind of prefer the PlayStation ones better. But for the Zero games, I prefer Zero, Two, Three, and Four more. Well, I like Zero, Three the best. And I guess Zero, Four as well. 
I, I vote like 0 3 top and then 0 4 second and then 0 2 third and then 0 1 last. But still good. Yeah, the music in these games are amazing as well. Because I played the classic Mega Man games first, and then the Mega Man Zero series, and then Mega Man X. Um, even though I should have done X first and then Zero, because Zero takes place after Mega Man X6. Uh, because it was released after X6. Like, X6 was 2001 on PS1, and then Zero was 2002 on Game Boy Advance. And then Zero Two came out in 2003 on GBA, and then, and then in 2003 also X7 on PlayStation Two. Uh, but X7 is considered the worst X game. Um, but you play as Zero in that game as well. So, so meaning. Um, so either you choose, well, the Battle Network games started in the early 2000s as well, so you either choose some X games, like X7, or maybe X8 uh, later on in 2004 or 2005 for Japan and European releases, or you choose the Mega Man Zero series, uh, I would go with them personally, or the Battle Network series, which most people go for, because Battle Network is considered popular, uh, because it's an RPG series. And later games have, like, different versions, similar to Pokemon games. Uh, so, you have, like, for starting with Battle Network 3, you got a white version and a black version, or blue version, outside Japan. Uh, and then, and then other games later on have similar versions. Uh, so yeah, but I would choose the Zero games, because I really, because Zero is one of my favorite characters in Mega Man games. And it's also the only Mega Man character created by Keiji Inafune as well. Uh, people thought Inafune created the original Mega Man and X as well, but that's not true. It was, I think it was another guy. I don't. I, for, I forgot his name. Yeah, thank you for playing. We're still at level B, oh my god. We got 80 points total in the last mission though. So, 5 minutes and 31 seconds uh, for the stage. We're still a collector, apparently. Do you want to save? No. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Yeah, and you have this cool background. Apparently, it's not like the later games for this new save data thing increased from 3 to 6. Uh, where, like, Zero Two has six save slots as well, but three and four still only have five save slots in, in the collection as well. Which is strange because uh, X4 also increased its save data from uh, from uh, three to six in the collection. Which is bizarre. So, I would like to overwrite. But it's been saved, yeah. And you could also load Save Assist as well, which is basically this part of the game. Uh, so before the final boss. But this doesn't remove your save data though, luckily. Uh, and then you have a 1 there. The 1 means you can, if you, if you start that file, you can play the game again. So it's like New Game Plus. So if you have all the Cyber Elves before, so the ones you've collected, you'll keep them. So, it's like New Game Plus. So the way you get ultimate mode in this game, in the first game, is you collect all Cyber Elves and upgrade them all. Uh, then you finish the game. Uh, you gotta make sure you have enough uh, sub crystals, though. Uh, there are there are methods to get like a lot in like one sitting. Um, there are some videos out there. Uh, it's also how you can upgrade your weapons as well. Um, so you can do both at the same time. Um, then you would, um, then would, then in the next playthrough, you would use them all. In the next playthrough, uh, so use all of them in the game until. Wait, hold on. So I think yeah, you upgrade, you upgrade all the cyber elves in your first playthrough. 
Well, it doesn't matter what playthroughs. So, you upgrade all your Cyber Elves before finishing the game. And then, um... And then you, um... And then you would get the Rare Elf, Jackson. So... And then you would upgrade him and get his weapon. And what his weapon is... Uh, I forgot to show it off, actually. Um, I'll just boot this file. It's a new game again. So what what it does? So yeah, another cyber elf will be there. So you hold jump for a while, and you become invincible. So touch any enemies, you don't get hit. But it is temporary though. But you because you'll get hit after. So yeah, that is what that is. Uh, so that is the ability you get from Jackson. So kind of cool, huh? Boy. Then you would finish the game by using all the Cyber Elves you use, including Jackson, and you unlock Ultimate Mode. And then to use Ultimate Mode, well, by beating the game normally, you unlock Hard Mode. And to activate Hard Mode, you would hold L, and then start a new game. But obviously, if you're in Casual Scenario Mode in this collection, it obviously doesn't work, because it's always Ultimate Mode. And if you want Ultimate Mode, when you unlock that, you hold R, and then start. That is how you unlock ultimate mode in the first game. In other games, in Zero Two, you don't get an ultimate mode, but you do get an ultimate form, which is like a, which is like a. But thankfully, casual scenario mode makes you have the ultimate form uh, at the start, so you of course uh, you're lucky to have um, uh, a best armor in the game. Uh, at the start with casual scenario mode, in Zero Three and Four, you get ultimate mode again, and it's similar. Uh, in some ways, but they are a bit different because there's no, because there's no, there's not really cyber elves in Zero Four. It's like something else you have to do, and then in Zero Three, it's something completely different. But you still have cyber elves to like upgrade you, but but you don't actually need to use them because they don't almost upgrade you a lot, sort of. But well, I don't know. I keep forgetting things, but. Yeah. But yeah, that is about it. So, that's about it for Mega Man Zero 1. So, next time we're going to do Mega Man Zero 2 uh, for other playthroughs. And yeah, Zero 2 is going to be like one of the better games, uh, in my opinion. Of course, you can still change the language to Japanese and English. You'll get the changes made. And unlike the X collections, the Japanese songs in some of the games, like Zero Four and then the ZX Advent, you'll get in the English version as well. So, like, not in the English mode, in, but in the Japanese mode, but in the English collection. So, it's not like the X collection where uh, you'll have to get a Japanese copy to get the Japanese songs and that. And all that. Uh, you don't have to do that with the Zero collection, luckily. I think they have the licenses this time. So... Which is strange, because they changed them in the, um... In the other versions, but still. Anyways, I'm babbling on about things. Uh, end of video. So, next time we'll do Zero Two. I'll see you guys next time. Video Game Jam poops out. I'll see you guys next time with Zero Two. See you guys next time. Bye!